Hey, what's up, Big Brother fans? I am back with my latest episode review and recap. This episode is for episode 36 that originally aired on September 10th, 2014. Um, I already did the video and it did not save, so I'm a little cranky at the moment. But I am a diehard Big Brother fan, so I'm going to redo this video again. Uh, basically, what I do is I do a review and recap. I watch the episode, I type away at my keyboard, watch, type, watch, type, over and over and over and over again. Uh, I do not want to ruin anyone's experience, so if you have not seen this episode and you do not want it spoiled, please hit the pause button and X out of this and so you don't get any spoilers, because I would hate to ruin your experience. If you don't mind spoilers, or if you just like watching me talk about Big Brother, this is the video for you. Um, yeah, so basically I literally make a notepad list on my computer and I just talk about it. That's all I do. Um, I interject my opinion as I see fit. I might just talk verbatim what happened. Uh, but yeah, so you ready? So Julie Chen opens up the show. A twist will be revealed. A house guest will be saved. And a week will be rewound on Big Brother. Previously on Big Brother, a mysterious button arrives. They push it. Frankie wins the head of household. Can't go back. Can't get backdoored. Frankie wins power veto and saves no one. Decides not to use it. Victoria Fate is dot 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 sealed. We are live for episode number 36 of season 16 of Big Brother. Cody in Diary says, if Caleb flips and it's a split vote, it's up to Frankie as there are only two votes. It could be a disaster for Cody. Frankie and Victoria talk in the kitchen. She starts to cry and he tries to help her. He does have a soul. There is proof that he does have a soul. Frankie in Diary says, Victoria is too tempting uh, to keep, you know, to get, you know, because uh, if she's up with Frankie, he is going home next week. Victoria in Diary says it's four guys versus her. It's unfair. It's bros before blank. What do you think she means? Knows, gnomes, glows, bows. I don't know. What do you think she could mean? What rhymes with bros? Derek and Frankie say... Derek and Frankie try to give her some hope that she could possibly stay in the game. Derek and Diary says, with the golden button, things can change real quick in the Big Brother household. Derek and Victoria are laying down together. Dot, dot, dot. Just kidding. Uh, Derek is feeling pretty sick. Uh, Victoria says, why is Frankie team Cody all of a sudden? Derek says, Cody hasn't burned Frankie. That's why. Cody and Caleb are friends and he doesn't want to riff in between. Derek and Diary says he is intentionally spending more time with Victoria, so he covers all his bases if the twist, uh, the button twist, keeps her in the end. Uh, he's doing great. Big Derek fan. This guy is killing it. Uh, Derek tells her not to give up. There's always opportunity. Uh, the TV says it's two days and 19 hours till the countdown is over. Caleb and Cody are playing pool, talking with Derek, discussing the button, what it could entail. Derek said, and Diary says the final three, Caleb, Derek, and Cody should be fine if they can get out Frankie. Um, also, just like completely random, uh, Cody's taking a shower, and Caleb just slowly starts creeping up, and he scares the bejeebers out of him. Um, that was pretty funny. Derek and Frankie talk in the head of household bathroom. Cody, Frankie, Caleb, and Derek are in an alliance, and they're trying to keep this strong. Derek is working hard. Uh, to get in this to stay. Derek and Diary is putting doubt in Frankie's mind about Cody and Caleb with fighting with Frankie in the end. Uh, says Caleb is the one to beat this year as well as Cody. Uh, Frankie, Derek is putting Frankie, Caleb, and Cody as equally great players and Frankie is aware that Derek could win. Uh, Derek is basically putting these guys at a pedestal above him so that way Frankie feels that he could beat Derek and keep him in the end. Uh, Derek is just... Master manipulator this season. Uh, Derek and Victoria talk about her possibly being a jury vote. Derek comes up with a plan that Victoria uh, says she won't vote for Derek and jury because that's one of the key things that people think about is how many jury votes would this person have. So if he can convince uh, Victoria to play along that she won't vote for him and jury uh, for the 500 grand then maybe they will keep him because he doesn't have enough votes. When in reality, he, she will vote for him. 
Uh, Victoria says in Diary that if she can't win, she wants Derek to win, and she'll do anything she has to, including fake cry and say to the other boys that she feels betrayed and played by Derek. Uh, Victoria and Frankie talk in the head of household room, and she fakes cries, uh, doesn't respect Derek, and is not voting to keep, uh, as he is not voting to keep her. Uh, Frankie feels for her and thinks that she's legitimate, talks with Derek in the bathroom about her feeling hurt. Derek and Diary says it was tough, but it looks like it way went, went way better than he could have ever expected. Derek legitimately will miss Victoria. Derek, uh, yet another awesome job right here. Uh, a thing on the TV says the next live show will begin in 48 hours. They run into the game room. Two days on the TV. Could it be an eviction? Frankie and Diary, the live eviction is accelerating my game. Derek it says in Diary is excited to see what happens on Wednesday. His chance at 500000 is that much realer. Cody in Diary says he's wary of the button. It's very nerve-wracking. Victoria is freaking out in the Diary. Caleb in Diary says it could be four of, my favorite, or four of her favorite celebrities to compete against them in a luxury competition. He wants Mila Kunis because he wants to marry her at the end. Like, that was out of nowhere. Cody wants to see Julie... Uh, it would be a dream come true. Now we are live. Uh, Julie asks a series of questions to people. She asks J Caleb, uh, what do you think about the button? He says, damn diesel truck with the, bunny, with the money. Uh, he asks if that would be the prize. Julie says, don't hold your breath. She asks Julie, what do you think about the button? Any regrets? He says, nah, as a fan, I think it's an awesome part of the game. Uh, Julie asks Frankie anything about Jeff and Jordan. Frankie says it was a privilege to be a part of it. Um, then she asks about another visitor, the rodent. Then we see, you know, some montages of the rodent. Julie asks Cody about his extreme fear of rats. He says, because they bite. Jeff pointed out that this is the messiest house in Big Brother history. Uh, Victoria says, she asks Victoria who is the biggest slob in the house. And she says, it's a tie between Caleb and Frankie. Uh, it's, uh, we're talking about, uh, the jury house. And then we hear Zach saying "Holla, Fruit Loop Dingus" to Derek for the five hundred thousand, for the five thousand hollas, and a holla from Downey. Uh, one week ago, we see the jury house. Zach's birthday is in the jury house. He gets a new pink hat as his gift from the how the jury house. Zach says, "Sorry, uh, sorry, I'm not sorry, Victoria. You get a shredded hat, and I get a new one." Hayden doesn't want Nicole uh, to in the jury house as he wants her to win the game. But unfortunately, Nicole is back. They watch her DVD, Falling on Ice, and that slippery competition. Uh, Zach says Victoria is a beast at the competition. That's a joke. Uh, Hayden says Derek and Va Frankie make all the moves. Yep. <laughs> Zach likes Derek. Everyone wants Christine to be the next person in this double eviction week. Uh, Donnie does the turkey call, which sounds like Christine's fake giggle laugh. And you wouldn't you know it, but here comes Christine. It's super awkward. No one greets her. She's upset. No one greets her. Hayden says, huh, do you have a thing for dinosaurs? Because, you know, she was stooping uh, Dino Cody. Donnie says, do you have an attorney? Nicole says, Christine got what was coming to her. Donnie, Nicole, and Hayden, you know, all went out because of her. That's what happens when you play dirty like that. Hayden says she got booed because of her shindig with Cody. Uh... Derek is the head of the snake in the household. They all agree it's Frankie versus Derek in the end. It's now time for the live voting to begin. Uh, they're all given an opportunity for a speech. Cody says hi to his family. Big congrats, Jeff and Jordan. Julie, you look amazing. Guys, let's keep it going. Final four. Victoria says, thank you, family and friends. It's been a pleasure. Thank you for treating me like the princess that I am. Derek, you betrayed me, and I won't forgive you. Wink. She does actually a really good job. Derek goes to vote in the diary room, and then the countdown ends and the alarm goes off. Julie says we have to wait, dot, 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 commercial break, and we're back. Derek and Frankie are kind of spooning on the couch to get some laughs from the crowd. She, Julie lets them know it's the BB Rewind, time for some time traveling. Reverse montage of this week, uh, various clips from throughout the week, but in reverse... Uh, the game has officially been rewound back to the last head of household competition. Cody and Victoria are no longer on the block. Frankie's reign as head of household is over. Derek can no longer 
can cannot go back for head of household as he was the outgoing head of household. Cody unfortunately has to go back into the dinosaur costume after the HOH competition, and he is like super upset about that. Caleb, Frankie, Victoria, and Cody all go back to the head of household competition to get ready. Dan Giesling, uh, pretty much the superstar Big Brother, uh, joins Julie live. Uh, she says, "What do you think about the Bominators?" He says, "It's a strong alliance, no turning on each other. It's very surprising in the Big Brother household." Says Frankie is dangerous. Only one who realizes Derek is a player that he is. Rewind affects Victoria and Cody. Gives second chances to people that may necessarily be on the lower side of the household. Uh, it's going to be hard for Derek to explain his game in the end in two to three minutes because he's done such an incredible job. Uh, flattered by the comparison that Derek gets. Uh, and is cheering for Derek. So that's pretty cool. It's good to see one of my favorite Big Brother contestants back. It's Groundhog Day in the Big Brother house. Head of household. It's called Seed Saw. They have to crawl underneath the fence, grab a seed, which is actually just a big ball, and walk across the seed, or walk across the shovel to the spade, big shovel, and they have to balance it. It's just a teeter-totter. No seeds can touch the dirt, neither can the Big Brother house guest. If they do, they have to reset everything. Apparently, Julie Chen has to stick her head in a box of tarantulas on her, on her talk show. I don't know. Who cares? Uh, the episode ends with Julie letting it rain. And that is about it for my review and recap. I want to say thanks to everyone who watches my video. Please hit the share button. Share to all your friends and family and enemies. That'd be cool too. If you can, refresh the video and click on an ad or a commercial. It would really help me out. Pay for my Big Brother addiction. Um, maybe I can afford the live feed one day. So yeah, click an ad or a commercial and share the heck out of my video. That would really be great. Thanks a lot for watching. Wish you all the best. Let's talk some Big Brother. Who are you rooting for?